Hello, people of the internet. This is Brownstone here, and in this video, coming to you with I'm coming to you with some nighttime news in which we strike a devastating blow to the fandom menace and Disney Star Wars haters, in which we reveal the revelation that Palpatine's return in The Rise of Skywalker, an element of the film that was highly criticized, was actually planned all along. That's right. So you might have heard for a while now that some haters have been going about saying, actually a lot of haters have been going to YouTube saying, The Rise of Skywalker is bad because Palpatine's return wasn't planned. And yeah, this sequel trilogy has no plan, ha has no plan at all. Well, wait until you see this article. Today, there are actually a lot of sources on, on this, but our source today comes from Screen Rant, in which they describe concept art that was uh, put to the table by J.J. Abrams way before The Last Jedi released in theaters. Proof Palpatine's Rise of Skywalker return was planned before Last Jedi. Concept art. From Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker, confirmed Palpatine's return was planned before The Last Jedi released in theaters. Concept art from Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker proves Palpatine's resurrection had been planned before Star Wars The Last Jedi. The unexpected return of Emperor Palpatine drove the plot of Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. It has been heavily criticized, with no, with no real setup on the big screen, and surprisingly little explanation. Lucasfilm has since spent some time explaining... Palpatine's return in official tie-ins. Lucasfilm President Kathleen Kennedy initially claimed Palpatine's return was always part of the plan, insisting it was part of the blueprint for the entire trilogy. Her claim was flatly refuted and rebutted by Colin Trevorrow, the first director of Episode 9, who left in September 2017 as a result of creative differences with Lucasfilm. A copy of Trevorrow's script called Duel of the Face was subsequently leaked online, confirming Darth Sidious was never part of his version. According to Trevaro, Palpatine's return was J.J. Was Abrams' idea. Concept art from Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker continues to surface online, and film... Shaw Tech, I'm sorry, has taken to Twitter to join the, the conversation. Concept art, art Kevin, Jenkins, Kevin Jenkins shared a superb sketch of the resurrected Palpatine, and he confirmed the, the timeline. This is Palpatine's sketch... Is dated November 1st, 2017, he pointed out. But the earliest Palpatine pieces are dated October 11, 2017. Which, if you've read The Art of the Rise of Skywalker, you'll know is mere days after the art department started on this film. Now, I have not read Ar Art of the Rise of Skywalker, but I've been meaning to. Oh, yeah, my bad. Check out this sketch right here. Uh, you'll notice that if... If many of you are hardcore uh, hardcore fans of the expanded universe, then you'll see a few a few things on here if you look carefully. The article explains it. This confirms Palpatine's return was was one of the first ideas Abrams put to the table when he was hired to replace Trevorrow. The, uh, the style of the sketch will remind fans of the classic Dark Empire comics from the old expanded universe, a no longer canon story in which a clone emperor returned to ravage the galaxy with super weapons. And this. Brings brings us to our second second blow to the to the fandom menace and Disney Star Wars haters. You guys don't like the Disney canon because Palpatine was brought back. Well, look at the expanded universe. Palpatine was brought back, but I don't see you guys criticizing it. Hmm. Notice the harness Palpatine is wearing as well, an element that made its way into the final theatrical cut. This is a much more deep cut into the Star Wars lore, a so-called Omnin Harness from the Expanded Universe. Abrams' plans for Palpatine were clearly well-developed at this stage, which frankly makes the decision not to explain the Emperor's return in the script all the more surprising. What makes this all the more striking, though, is this confirms Palpatine's return was already in the works before Star Wars The Last Jedi was released in December 2017. This is still well after additional photography had been completed for The Last Jedi, however, so clearly Ryan Johnson's film didn't change shape in any way to help set Palpatine up. Reshoots for Star Wars The Last Jedi appear to have focused on the late Carrie Fisher, Canto Bight, Mike Broomboy, and Vice Admiral Haldo, not on Kylo Ren or Supreme Leader Snoke, who could potentially 
been used to used to hint at a greater dark side threat. All right, with the article done, let's discuss it. So, this officially shuts down any arguments haters can make that Palpatine's return wasn't planned, because in reality, it was. A long a, a long while back, I discovered an article similar to this one that, that described Palpatine's return as planned, but I haven't gotten gone around to making a video until this point. So I found this article from, from Screen Rant, checked it over, and yeah, lo and behold, it it gave a lot more it gave it gave a lot more uh, information than the previous article did. So what does this mean? Well, it actually means a lot. Judging judging by what I learned from this article, the the return of Palpatine was not only planned, but the way he was uh, first introduced in the Rise of Skywalker was a nod to the expanded universe, which is pretty huge in itself. Thanks to uh, B Level Media, I uh, thanks to YouTuber B Level Media, I am I'm trying to uh, to get myself caught up with a lot of expanded universe stories in order to become an EU fan. That way, so I could truly be, become part of uh, of the Council in Exile. But you, but you know what? One day I'll get there. What matters now is that we have struck another blow to the mentality of the haters. What is Geeks and Gamers going to say to this? This Admiral producer is an SJW. Yeah, <laughs> we gonna say that. I've been meaning. I've been waiting for him to make a video on uh, on me for uh, for a while now because. Because I am one of his most outspoken critics. However, this is proof, living proof, that Lucasfilm had a plan all along. And they were just keeping it under wraps so we could have a surprise. And I honestly commend them for it. While I would have liked more, more information on Palpatine's return that way so... Fans wouldn't jump on the bandwagon of, of the sequel trilogy had no plan. I respect Lucasfilm's decision to keep it under wraps for, to make it a surprise. Because honestly, Palpatine's return was a surprise. In the trailer drop, which in the in the final trailer that dropped, which showed Palpatine's return, I'm pretty sure a lot of fans like me were just blown away. Bringing Palpatine back was a great end to the Star Wars saga. And that, and Ray's last line, Ray Skywalker, what a perfect way to end the saga. This is why Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker officially stands in my book as best Star Wars movie. You guys are allowed to disagree with me, but that's just my, that's just my point of view. So thank you all for watching. Be sure to like this video and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye. Mm.